Well, good morning, and uh, my usual rant. But just let me remind you that this day, Thursday, and also tomorrow, people are collecting or using coffee mornings for Macmillan, the well-known uh, cancer charity. And if you can support that, I would urge you to. My own wife, my late wife, had uh, breast cancer and managed to beat it with the help of Macmillan. So uh, I'm very keen on this charity. And tomorrow, Friday, we'll actually be broadcasting from Lewis Station, where the station staff, along with my favorite runaway bistro cafe, will be raising money for Macmillan. So don't often make appeals like this on this program, but this one is special. And I hope you'll join us tomorrow when we try to have a bit of fun down at the, the station uh, supporting Macmillan for the morning. I escaped jail yesterday. Uh, give credit where credit is due. Lewis District Council, with whom I've got the argument, uh, responded when I attended court. I never actually did get into the magistrate's court at all. They withdrew the summons before uh, that happened. And uh, for once, I had a decent sort of chap to talk to who listened to what I had to say. Uh, customer first. I don't know whether he's part of customer first. But customer first, uh, when they just use email and so on, don't have a clue. Not a clue. So I'm not being very forgiving for them for that. But yesterday they had a chap who was willing to, to listen to the, the case decided that it could be resolved and is trying hard to resolve it in between us let's see if we can come to some uh, conclusion but at least i was quite impressed with what ldc did yesterday in that particular instance if they get some pr help now might be okay uh, incidentally uh, one of the strange things i find is everybody wants a password nowadays we're absolutely paranoid about passwords and i can't remember them all and i don't really feel like going through the process of keep on starting a new one for everything i look at but you go to lewis district council's uh, website and it, it tells you you know here are uh, some press releases and here's what we're doing and so on and so forth and you press on the piece that you're interested in reading and you have to go and fill in, uh, let, uh, get a password and all the rest of it. Well, you know, we're past that, I think. I'm uh, 78, uh, and even I realize that most people nowadays just want to tap and be done with it. Yeah, some people are doing the finger thing, and uh, some people are paying for their coffee with their phone and so on. I haven't got quite that far, but nonetheless, one tap and that should be it and uh, somehow somewhere one of the brains that gets behind all these things even if they're security conscious have got to do away with this password for absolutely everything i do understand i think that there is a way of getting one password for everything that you do but i, I suppose that's slightly dangerous and, but the other thing is i don't quite understand how to do it and until somebody explains then i urge let's do something about not having passwords for absolutely everything that we do we have passwords to breathe next i'm just keeping an eye here because uh, i try hard to keep to five minutes for this particular uh, rant uh, so my, my rant is that i'm not in jail that uh, i'm discussing things with the council at long last mind you i asked them last june june july if we could uh, get together and have a chat <laughs> that fell on deaf ears <laughs> the, the, the top brass aren't that interested in talking to people like me oh my goodness we know <laughs> but nonetheless we seem to be getting somewhere with a resolution and that's uh, uh, that's a result i i suppose all right so tomorrow i shall see you down at the station uh, the trains aren't really getting any better mine was late 15 minutes getting into victoria uh, the, the other morning when was that uh, yesterday the day before there's a bit of chaos in the evening and uh, nobody knew which platform for a little while that the train was going to come in on and then when it did it was uh, jam-packed within seconds the train that i used to take at quarter to nine in the morning which was a lovely train it used to be uh, uh, an eight coacher sometimes a 12 coacher sometimes it was a, a four and a, an eight and it, it joined up in lewis now it's just four coaches and of course that's you're fighting for a seat and that's the sort of thing that the, the, the train companies now need to look at is uh, if they haven't got enough 
coaches or trains or whatever don't put them on the schedule but it's just making life miserable and they're getting the flack for it okay short rant this morning and there we are i'm a free man whoa and i'd worn my uh, russian hat just in case i got thrown into the gulag but uh, we'll uh, see you tomorrow uh, and at the moment the weather is looking pretty good so perhaps you'll have a fine weekend at least one where the heat will work up a thirst till then toot -toot.